The Seed Ark. Inside the Svalbard Seed Vault, the world's safest storage facility. The Global Seed Repository in Svalbard, sometimes called the End of the World Respiratory, may be humanity's last hope for survival after a worldwide catastrophe. However, although its mission is to preserve the plant seeds, the repository was not designed to reseed the post-apocalyptic world. The significance of the Svalbard Seed Vault in preserving the world's crop diversity cannot be overstated. Crop diversity is crucial for maintaining resilient and sustainable food systems in the face of climate change, pests and diseases, and other threats. The vault provides a safety net for humanity's agricultural heritage, ensuring that vital genetic resources are conserved for future generations. Today, we will find out who can access the vault, under what circumstances, how it is funded, who pays for the upkeep, and whether any rare or endangered crop varieties are only found in the vault, and finally, the most important room on the planet, what is stored in the most protected structure known to humankind. History and Background The Svalbard Sea Vault, also known as the Global Sea Vault, was established in 2008 and is located on the Norwegian island of Spitsbergen and the Svalbard Archipelago. The idea of the vault was first proposed by Kerry Fowler, a biodiversity expert and former executive director of the Global Crop Diversity Trust in 2004. The Norwegian government and the Consultative Group on International Agricultural Research support the project, a partnership of international agricultural research centers. The vault was built to provide a secure storage facility for the world's seed collections, ensuring the preservation of crop diversity in the face of natural or artificial disasters. Seed banks worldwide were already safeguarding important collections, but many were at risk for natural disasters, war, or a lack of funding. The Svalbard Sea Vault was designed to serve as a backup for these seed banks, a sort of doomsday vault that could protect important genetic resources in a global crisis. Construction of the vault began in 2006, and the facility was completed and officially opened in February 2008. The vault is built into a mountain deep underground, and its location was chosen for its remote location, permafrost conditions, and low risk of natural disasters. The vault is designed to be highly secure, with multiple layers of physical and electronic security systems. The vault's capacity is estimated to be around 4.5 million seed samples, although it currently holds just over a million. The Norwegian government owns the Slavbard Seed Vault, which has also provided most of the funding for its construction and maintenance. The Global Crop Diversity Trust, an international organization that supports the conservation and use of crop diversity, manages the vault and coordinates the collection and deposit of seeds. Since its opening, the Svalbard Sea Vault has received seeds from seed banks worldwide. Each country or institution that deposits seeds maintains ownership of its samples and can request them back anytime. The vault is intended to be a long-term storage facility, with sources expected to remain viable for hundreds or even thousands of years in the permafrost conditions of the vault. The Svalbard Sea Vault has become an important symbol of global cooperation in preserving crop diversity. It has also drawn attention to the need for continued investment in seed banks and crop breeding programs worldwide to ensure that we have the genetic resources we need to adapt to changing environmental conditions and feed a growing population. Design and Construction The Svalbard Sea Vault was designed to store duplicates of seed samples from the world's crop collections in a secure, long-term storage facility that can withstand various natural and artificial disasters. The design of the sea vault is relatively simple, but effective. The facility is located deep within a mountain and consists of three main chambers, with a total storage capacity of 4.5 million seed samples. The entrance to the vault is a tunnel that leads to an airlock and then to the main chambers. The vault's interior is kept at a constant temperature of negative 18 degrees Celsius, below freezing point, and the seeds are stored in sealed, airtight containers. 
this temperature and humidity level ensures that the sources remain viable for a long time, potentially for hundreds of years. The Norwegian government carried out the vault's construction with funding from various international organizations. The building process started in 2006, and the burial was completed and officially opened in February of 2008. The construction of the Slavbard Sea Vault faced several challenges, mainly due to the remote location and extreme weather conditions. Here are some of the challenges faced during the construction of the vault and how they were overcome. Extreme Weather Conditions the Svalbard Archipelago experiences harsh weather conditions, including freezing temperatures, high winds, and limited daylight hours. These conditions made it difficult to transport materials and personnel to the site. Solution? The construction team overcame these challenges using specialized equipment and vehicles designed to operate in extreme weather conditions. They also worked in shifts to take advantage of the limited daylight hours and constructed temporary shelters to protect themselves from the harsh weather. Remote Location The Svalbard Archipelago is one of the most remote places on Earth with limited access to transportation, communication, and resources. Solution The Norwegian government worked with international partners to coordinate the construction efforts and transport materials and equipment to the site. They also built a runway and port to facilitate transportation and communication. Additionally, they established an emergency response plan to deal with any contingencies that might arise. Storage and Retrieval The seeds are stored in a secure temperature-controlled facility that uses advanced technology and security measures to preserve them for decades or even centuries. The seeds are stored in three separate underground storage chambers, each of which is designed to hold up to 1.5 million seed samples. The seeds are stored in airtight sealed containers placed on metal shelves. The chamber temperature is maintained at a constant negative 18 degrees Celsius below freezing point to preserve the seeds quality and viability. The vault has advanced refrigeration systems that use mechanical and natural cooling to maintain the required temperature. Retrieving Seeds If a depositor needs to retrieve a seed sample, they must request it from the seed vault. The request is processed by a team of experts who ensure all necessary information is provided and the retrieval process is approved. The seed sample is retrieved from the designated storage chamber by a robotic system that moves the seed box from the shelf to a retrieval area. The seed sample is then shipped to the depositor. Advanced Technology and Security Measures The Svalbard Sea Vault has advanced technology and security measures that ensures the seed's safety and longevity. The vault is deep inside a mountain, providing natural protection against natural disasters such as earthquakes, floods, and tsunamis. The facility is monitored 24-7 by a team of engineers who ensure that the temperature, humidity, and other environmental conditions are maintained at the required level. The vault is also equipped with a backup power supply and communication system to protect the seeds in case of power failure or other emergencies. Importance of Preserving the Seeds Preserving the world's crop diversity is crucial for ensuring food security, reducing poverty, and promoting sustainable agriculture. The seeds stored in the Slavbard Sea Vault represent a vast wealth of genetic resources that can be used to develop new crop varieties more resistant to pests, diseases, and climate changes. The seeds also play a crucial role in providing a safety net for farmers during crises, such as droughts, floods, or other disasters. Global Significance The vault provides a safety net for the world's seed banks. Vulnerable to natural disasters, conflict, and other challenges. Its impact on seed preservation worldwide is significant as it provides a backup for the world's seed banks, ensuring the conservation of crop genetic resources for future use. Partnerships and Collaborations the Svalbard Seed Vault has formed partnerships and collaborations with various international organizations, including the United States Food and Agricultural Organization, the Consultative Group on International Agricultural Research, and the Global Crop Diversity Trust. These partnerships have strengthened the vault's capacity to conserve crop genetic resources and ensure their availability for future generations. Challenges Facing Crop Diversity the world's crop diversity faces several challenges, including climate change, pests and diseases, land degradation, 
and biodiversity loss. The Svalbard Sea Vault addresses these challenges by conserving crop genetic resources and promoting diverse crop varieties more resistant to pests, diseases, and climate change. The vault has also established partnerships with international organizations and national seed banks to encourage the use of crop genetic resources in research and development. So, the vault's purpose is to store duplicates of seeds from seed banks worldwide in a safe and secure environment, ensuring their long-term survival. The vault is built deep inside a mountain. Its location was specifically chosen because of its remote location, permafrost conditions, and low risk of natural disasters like earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. Currently, the vault holds over a million seed samples, representing almost all known food crops and their wild relatives. In conclusion, the Svalbard Seed Vault is a crucial resource for the world's food security and agricultural heritage. The advanced technology and security measures used in the storage process ensure that the seeds are preserved for future generations. The importance of protecting the sources cannot be overstated, and the Svalbard Sea Vault plays a crucial role in ensuring that the world's crop diversity is protected for years to come. We encourage everyone to learn more about seed preservation and the critical work being done by the Svalbard Sea Vault. Seed preservation is crucial for ensuring food security, reducing poverty, and promoting sustainable agriculture. The Svalbard Sea Vault is essential for preserving the world's crop diversity and safeguarding vital plant genetic resources for future generations. By learning more about seed preservation and supporting the work of the Svalbard Seed Vault, we can all contribute to conserving crop genetic resources and ensure their availability for future use. Let us all take action and play our part in preserving the world's crop diversity.